Well, the Confederacy, uh, the Confederate States of America, as a new nation, proclaimed itself uh, in the early 1861. They adopted a constitution in February 1861. Uh, the Confederate Constitution was largely modeled on the U.S. Constitution um, with such changes as were thought to be necessary to protect, further protect slavery. It had some kind of quirky changes. One was that the president served for a six-year term and was not re-electable. The president of the Confederacy was elected for a six-year term and that was it. Now, this is a plan, this is an idea which has been put forward many times over the past hundred years by so-called reformers, people, political reformers, uh, to somehow insulate the president from politics. In other words, if he doesn't need to be re-elected, then theoretically he can act in the public interest rather than narrow political interest. Of course, what this really is, is totally undemocratic. It is intended to protect or insulate the president from democracy. For, that's what we call it when, you know, they have to listen to what ordinary people think. Um, and it also makes him a lame duck immediately, right? As soon as he's elected, he's a lame duck because they're already fighting. But it didn't have, affect the Confederacy because they never got to that point. But this was one. They, they, they also um, adopted a British, the British um, model, which never really worked out, uh, whereby cabinet members sit in Parliament, in, in, of course, it works the other way around. In, in Britain, you have to be a member of Parliament, the House of Commons, to be in the government, as, you know, as a top level. Now, so the Confederates said, no, the cabinet will sit in Congress in, in order to create greater links between the legislature and the executive, but it didn't seem to have any particular uh, effect. Um, it did adopt some nationalistic elements of the um, U.S. Constitution, the federal or the national government was supreme over the states in, in, in some ways. States could not make treaties with foreign powers. In other words, even though this was secession and states' rights, it still had a central government which could override the states in some things. Um, the Confederate Constitution did not say anything about the right of secession. It was unclear whether a state could secede from the Confederacy. Never happened exactly, although actually West Virginia did secede from Virginia, um, but they didn't put the right of secession explicitly into their constitution. Um, one interesting thing they did do was reserve seats in the Confederate Congress for N Indian, Native American tribes that sided with the Confederacy. This is certainly unknown in the U.S. history that natives actually have a guaranteed seats in the Congress, but they did that to try to attract support from Native American tribes, particularly out in Oklahoma, et cetera. But as McCurry emphasizes in our reading, the core of the Confederate Constitution is the protection of slavery. The Confederacy, she says, was an independent pro-slavery nation, something unusual in the 19th century. And they abandoned the euphemisms of the U.S. Constitution. Remember, other persons, persons held to labor. The word slavery does not appear in the, in the original U.S. Constitution. But they just said, no, no, slavery, slave. They put their money where their mouth is, uh, or vice versa, I guess. They put their mouth where their money was, and they said slavery. That's what we're talking about. Forget about other persons and all that. They forthrightly named the institution. They also forthrightly limited citizenship to white persons. In other words, they constitutionalized the principle of the Dred Scott decision, that no black person, even though there were free blacks down there, could be recognized as a citizen of the Confederacy. Um, Georgia, in 1861, passed a law making continual lo continuing loyalty to the Union a capital offense. You could be executed for being loyal to the Union, which is an odd thing for a, con a government which claims to be protecting individual liberty and individual rights against a, you know, overbearing state. The Confederate Constitution retained the three-fifths clause from the U.S. Constitution, thereby enhancing the political power of slave owners within the Confederacy, and most of the states also had a three-fifths clause, for, represent, for the apportionment of legislative seats, and that, that enhanced the power of the 
slave-holding counties within uh, uh, the Confederacy. Interestingly, the, slave, the, the Confederate Constitution prohibited the African slave trade. They prohibited the importation of slaves from Africa. Why? Even though there had been many, as Sinha had pointed out a few weeks ago, in the Deep South wanting to reopen it, but number one, they knew they would never get Virginia into the Confederacy if they reopened the African slave trade because Virginia was selling slaves by the thousands down to the Lower South. And second of all, they knew they would never get foreign recognition. The British would never extend recognition to the Confederacy if it reopened the African slave trade. The British, were, British ships were patrolling the coast of West Africa to stop the, ex, the, the slave trade by this point. So the slave trade was banned uh, in the Confederate uh, Constitution. Um, they also included a strong fugitive slave clause naming fugitive slaves rather than in the U.S. Constitution, which called them persons held to labor, um, and also the right of slave transit. Interestingly, even though there were no um, free states in the Confederacy, you know, all the states were slave states, they put in the Constitution the right of a slave owner to bring his slaves into any other state. Now remember, northern states had abolished that by this time a Southerner could not bring a slave into New York. The slave automatically became free if they entered New York. But in the South, they wanted to make sure that there would be this slave. You could bring a slave anywhere you want with no problem. So, and they also guaranteed slavery in all the territories that might be acquired. They didn't have any territories, but if they acquired territories in the future, slavery would be guaranteed. So regarding slavery, the Confederate Constitution was more centralized than the U.S. Constitution. It, was more, it, it offered a greater national protection to slavery than the, even the U.S. Constitution, which was pretty good in that realm. And these, you know, despite whatever people think about the war, you know, they did not beat about the bush. This, what I have up here is an interesting little, uh, an article from a website relating to Confederate currency. Conf money. The Confederate government issued money. State governments issued money. Private banks issued money. Corporations issued money. Back then, anyone could issue paper money. But so much of this money had pictures of slavery on it. What do you put on your money? You put on something that is important to you. You put on something that is beautiful or or heroic, but they, here's, here's one with a, it's hard to see there with slaves that work in the field, but they, here's one from a, a currency issued by a bank in Richmond, you see, with a slave pricking cotton. Uh, here's one from uh, Texas, Washington County. Here's one down here, Arkansas Treasury. They're all pictures of slaves um, on the Confederate. Here's another one from a Mississippi, $50 bill, slave, male and female, working in the fields. I mean, if they weren't about slavery, what are they putting pictures of slavery on all their money for? You know, is this because they couldn't think of anything else, like a nice building or something? So, um, so you know, they, they were right out there. Um, this is why people object to the dis public display of the Confederate flag. Not on, you know, if someone wants to stick a Confederate flag on their vehicle, that's their business. But if the government displays it publicly, it's a statement, and that, that statement uh, offends a lot of people.